Hello and welcome to Wild and Woolly. My name is Debbie. Today I'm going to help you with the dreaded dropped stitch. This is a simple fix. A lot of people are afraid to do it, but I want to show you a nice easy way and successful way of repairing this drop stitch. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get to the point that our stitch has been dropped. So I'm just going to slip these stitches onto a separate needle. I like to do it with a cable so we can pull it th stitches through onto the cable and get them out of the way. Now as you can see we have this live stitch here. If we do not pick up this live stitch it will continue to unravel all the way down your work and you'll just have a whole column of ladders like you see. So we're going to go ahead and pick this live stitch back up and feed it all the way to the top again. To do this, it's very, very useful to have this handy tool. You can see one end has a nice pointed end, the other end is a little hook, like a mini crochet hook. If you don't have one of these in your kit, I would recommend that you get one because they're very useful. What we're going to do is go into the front of this stitch with our hooked end. So we go in, at this point, I like to pick my work up. The reason why I like to pick it up is because then I can see clearly where the ladders are. I don't skip any ladders and I don't take any ladders out of order. If you're more comfortable laying it on the table, you can certainly do that, but be extra careful not to skip any of these ladders. So we've gone into the front of the stitch and we're going to pick up that first ladder right there. And to pick up the first ladder, we're going to go in with the hook and we're going to pull that ladder through to the front of the stitch and this way we've we've already incorporated our first ladder and created a new stitch with our first ladder we have to pull the hook out and go back into the front and to the next ladder and pick that up pull it through to the front again when we do this if we don't take the hook out and go back into the front we'll end up twisting our stitches which we don't want to do so you can see I've got three more ladders to go here. I'm going to take the hook back out. I'm going to go back into the front of the stitch and pick up the following ladder. As you can see, if you don't manipulate this with your fingers, you, you can't always tell which ladder is coming next. So it's very straightforward. You just have to practice a little bit and you have to remember to breathe while you're doing it. Um, it really is straightforward. You just if you get over the anxiety of doing it. So here we have one more to go. We're going to pop it on there. And then what we need to do, we're all the way to the top and we need to pop it back onto our needle. You see there? Lovely. Now it's safe. And when I lay this down, look at this, you couldn't even tell there was a drop stitch there. I've got the other one on the left hand side so you can compare it to what it did look like. And you can see it's completely seamless. So now we're going to do another, another version. This time we are going to purposely drop a stitch. The reason why we're going to do that is because we've spotted a mistake a few rows down. You can see there we have a, a, a mistake. We have a purl stitch in the middle of all the knit stitches. So it's the same principle. We're going to work along, take the stitches off until we get to the point where we have made our mistake. So I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to slip these stitches onto a needle and pop them onto a cable to get them out of the way. And it's important that you make sure that you have the correct stitch. So lay it down, take your next live stitch and follow it all the way down. Can you see there? We know that that's the correct stitch that we need to unpick. So we're going to take that one off the needle and then we are going to pull all of those stitches out. <laughs> you're probably hyperventilating by now but it's okay it's all going to be okay and we're going to pull these stitches out and you can see I'm just about to pull that pull stitch out you see that? now what I want to do now is I'm going to recreate that pull stitch and to do that we go back over from the way that we uh, do the knit stitch when we do the knit stitch we uh, pull it through from the f from the back to the front now we're going to do it the other way the loop will come in the front and we're going to go into the back of the stitch and pull the loop through to the back of the stitch and that will create the purl stitch that's the one that I just took out 
I just wanted you to see that so you could tell the difference between the knit and the purl. So now I'm going to unpick that purl stitch because really what we want here is all knit stitches. Again, I like to have my fingers there so I can really manipulate the ladders and know exactly where I need to be. Um, so we're picking up in knit, so in, into the front, pull the yarn through from the back. And you see how I'm, this yarn is splitting right here? You want to make sure that you have the full complement of strands on that particular stitch. Because if you only pick up a few of the strands, boy it's going to be messy and you won't be a happy camper. So pick up the full complement, go in from the front, pull from the back, back to the front. Now then, this is why I like to have my finger. You can you see here, you can't really tell which one is next. And don't be afraid to go in there and rummage around a little bit. And you'll see once you rummage around, look, everything's in order now. You can see exactly which ladder is next. So again, we're going to go into the front, pull that ladder through, back to the front. Go into the front of the stitch, pull the ladder through the stitch, and then we're going to be all the way to the top again. Once you get to the top, that's your live stitch that needs to go back on your needle. That's the one that dropped originally. And there you go, back in place. And as you can see now, the little pearl stitch mistake has disappeared. And everything's back in its place as it needs to be. I hope this video is helpful to you. If you have any questions, you can email us or contact us at thewildandwoolly.com or you can call us um, 843-881-5588. Okay, take good care and good luck. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.